Sam Todd coming through in five, but uh, did only last for, for a five gamer at 61 minutes, so I'm sure physically he'll be uh, he'll be okay today after one match. There's the forehand you were talking about. Do not give away the cross court. One, yeah, it's a dangerous area that uh, Declan James loves stretching ac across there and also. Wow, do drop in. <laughs> An absolute Deck James classic, that forehand oh, kill. Wow. Loves that shot. On this. I think he's made a few dollars out of that shot. Well, James has got him on a little bit of a string so far in this rally. Great control from the Englishman. Yeah, good. Great rally from James. Yeah, did all the right things there, didn't he? Deserved to win that one. What a finish. 11-6, game to James. James leads, one game to love. Yeah, pretty disappointing there for Greg Lobben. Such a such a heavy lead. And then, as you said, the tactics from Declan James were spot on to come. Yeah, he's just waiting for that shot, isn't he? Just working that backhand side, waiting for that cross court, that loose cross court to come in. Yeah, just ready to bounce, isn't he? Like a big cat. Five, all. Yeah, it's a good finish from, from Lobben. Stroke to James. Stroke. Good pressure from James. What a shot. I mean, the, the reaction really off the tight ball from Declan James and then for Greg Lobben to put it away, quite Lobben. impressive. One game Look at this. Instinctive shot there from the Scott. James, which is unusual for him. There's That's the, the one. one. He's That's been the looking one he for that for a while. And He's been missing his line as well. <laughs> Give Not him a bit time. of confidence, that one. Do you think it's a bit of mental fatigue sometimes with Declan James when he loses that precision? He's certainly not physically tired, is he? I don't think either player is particularly physically tired. Oh, it's better. Like it. Yeah, I'm not sure. And now he's had patches where it's been four. absolutely spot on. Both just buying that T area, aren't they? Just trying to get a bit of control. Yeah, physically this oh. is starting to get really tough for James. Oh. 
Well, he's not being allowed to dominate, is he, in this rally? That's what he likes to do around the mid court line. Everything's being cut off at present by Lobben. Yeah, too good. As soon as it went loose on that side, he was in big trouble, wasn't James he? Four. Great finish from James, but that was a tough rally. Okay. Well, Greg Lobben, I think he's absolutely fuming inside, isn't he? Vanessa is trying to keep his emotions in check. Yeah, I think he must he must know he's got a little bit of fatigue, a little bit of, a lot of work into uh, into James, but James has got the lead. Yeah, it's not showing on the scoreboard, is it? That's the a problem for Lobben. Ah! Perfect leg yeah, it was. the winner. It's not going to be a let. And, and quite right, it was the correct decision, I feel, there. Perfect timing from Deccan James. James. Not easy to execute James either off the, off the side wall. It usually tends to be one slightly shorter game somewhere. out the rallies. James needs to be absolutely immaculate with his squash. Just like that. And now, one all. Yeah, very good. James works in the angle, waits for the cross court. Just giving away too many cross courts onto James's racket. Got the width that time. Lovely. Wasn't going to miss that one. Seven, six. Yeah, he's working hard here. He's seeing that finishing line and just giving it a huge push here. Similarly, Greg Lobben fighting for his life. Oh, he no, just clipped it, the top of the ten, yeah. Both players wow. saw it. Greg Lobbins conceded. What a match. Yeah, it was well played. Well played from both players here. You can see the fact walk. <laughs> exhausted here. Absolutely finished, both of them. Just highlights just how tough this sport can be. Only four people seeded in each event, and Deccan James wasn't seeded. But he's beaten Greg Lobb in the fourth seed. 11 6, 8 11, 11 7, 11 7. Mm -hmm. And long and arduous. For everyone involved. You're wincing there, <laughs> Vanessa. Did you mean the players? Sorry. <laughs> Some hard work, work already, as you say. rally is well over 50 shots yeah I mean it does send out a message it's not just the physical side of things but just oh. mentally this is what you're gonna have to do for a very long period Too of time long. to beat me and that is tough Taking a chunk out of his opponent in the early stages, first half of a game, and then looking to capitalise on that work later on. He's still looking very sprightly. Read yeah, that good. one. And 
It's a very good hold there. Just forcing his opponent to take higher and higher risk when they do get an opportunity. Very clinical performance as expected from Joel Makin, the number one seed, as he takes the first game 11 6 in 17 minutes. It's a lovely shot there, uh, lovely skills on the backhand from Nathan Lake. And then the errors start creeping in. shot isn't it Vanessa I know he's got good skills but starting to fatigue and it's high up yeah it's just it's tough isn't it and that's perhaps something that could be improved upon five game balls now for Joel Makin taking it the first time of asking for the number one seed Shot high up, good skill levels from Lake. too good from Joel Makin. Straight on his racket to be fair but the, the way he timed it was impressive. Lake looking to fight till the, uh, till the very end. Got it. Not going to get that though. No, no it's a good finish and really clinical performance from Joel Makin. The, the number one seed, the runner up last year. Six, 11, five, really, he had seven. to play well though. Fair play to his opponent Nathan Lake. So there you have the score line: 11, 6, 11, 5, 11, 7 in 46 minutes. Three love to Joel Makin. He's through to the semi-final. touch from Waller on that backhand. Really nice touch. Four, two. Let's just get himself nice and settled into this quarter final. it a little bit there. Seven, three. <laughs> that was clever. Nice. A little nice. fake. I think I went the wrong way there as well. Yeah, that's all you can do really from this position. Still four game balls for Waller. Oh, 
<laughs> and it's all over. Since we say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was always likely, wasn't it, with uh, Waller's racket work. Absolutely. Rooney's just not really responding to the quality of Waller. He's expecting to, uh, to get opportunities to attack. And when they're not forthcoming, he's forcing things. That was better from Rooney, just pouncing onto this uh, cross court. It was a loose cross court. Looked in control for most of that last rally as well, Waller. Just clipping the tin. Oh, wow. Talk about confidence. And that was only going in one place, Vanessa. I was in oh, an alternate universe. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Parky. He's got away with it, though. As you say, the racket head was a bit flat. Okay, so ball, Rooney. Yeah, chance. And out 12 all. Quickly saved by Waller. Wasn't it just a nice bit of variation from Rooney? Another game ball now. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Turned it around somehow. Possible. <laughs> There's only ever one word associated <laughs> with the angle, isn't there? Slow up. That's a well straight. What a get there from Rooney. This is will he get that? He will. Great touch. Some lovely stuff there from, from Waller. What a retrieval though in the back left corner from Rooney. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, he's got great retrieval skills, but because of the open style that he plays, With big chance now. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. I think uh, there's only one person that didn't enjoy that shot. It's Adrian <laughs> Waller. Well played. Found the line there, didn't he? Just, just at the right time, Rooney. Oh, a dejected-looking Waller. Looking increasingly fatigued at the end of that game. 12-minute third game. Rooney wins it 11-6, and he leads two games to one. He's like a gazelle there, wasn't he, yeah. Rooney? <laughs> Flying the auctionman. <laughs> Had to be that good, didn't it, from Waller? So much work done there by Pat Rooney. Within one point. Went for the big finish. Yeah, went for Hollywood. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Severe angle on that cross court Ten nick. It actually didn't hit the nick, it just went play. so wide into the side wall. You got the big finish. Two games all. That's 
good lift from Waller, but well taken, beautiful. really well taken. Yeah. Leaping into the air here. Both feet were off the ground there from Rooney. That's well adjusted there from Rooney. One thing I feel he's doing a bit better as well, Rooney, here is the whip. Oh, and how did he get the length. line on that? Great length. And Fantastic shot. Bit Lines of passion there as well from side. Rooney. Nothing wrong with that in such an important point towards the end of this match. Possibility. So match ball, Rooney. Just a single match ball. And it's gone. Quick as a flash. Just a slightly loose ball here. It wasn't even that loose, but it was just well taken on the ball. Done it. He's, he's, he's done got it. the line the first time I'm asking. Effort. That is absolutely incredible from Adrian Waller. I'm really not quite sure. Neither is quite sure how he won that match, Vanessa. Quite incredible. Patrick Rooney, great disappointment. Well, there you have it. Number three seed Adrian Waller goes through in 77 minutes. Takes it uh, against Patrick Rooney, who uh, will be absolutely furious with himself. He certainly had his chances. But Waller hung on. Oh, thank God. too much more of that <laughs> yeah definitely wanted that one to be over <laughs> phenomenal speed from Parker oh. Dear me. Did that go up? Yeah, I think I thought Will Strap had stopped. Oh, yeah, just stopped. Oh, oh. What a finish. That was pretty spectacular, Vanessa. Look at the control here, so still, and that was only going to go in one. So still one game ball left for Parker. No, that's it's gone. Wolstrop forces the tie break. Players on display. To be expected. Oh, he just didn't quite get the nick. Oh, what a it. finish. What a finish. It. Well, you've got to say, he deserved that game, Parker. Oh, that's well played. Just not quite enough width on it. A bit short as well, wasn't it? Balance though to be able to turn. Oh, <laughs> well, I was going to say Parker getting a little bit of luck, but that was uh, an unbelievable pleasure centre boast. Very close, but. Definitely a let. Oh, nice the angles have been impeccable. <laughs> oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> a brain freeze. Seven, eight. Well, we've all been there at the end of this second. Not 
finding the line there. Or did Will Strutt? Video review. Oh, dearie me. Can't play that season on pack with That looked like a stroke to me, Vanessa, but... Not sure how he can play that, really. Too close to the swing. I think that's uh, a painful, painful ending to that game for Wilstrop. You just give absolutely everything, don't you, to to play this well against such a class player and be in this position. It's, it's so physical, so mental. Oh, that was wicked flick. Yeah, and it's really difficult to keep that level of intensity yeah. as well and use it, you know, great three rallies from Wilstrop. That's a wonderful touch. And out, 8-3. Doesn't miss many though on the backhand side. Well, just snatching at that one, it was tight to the side wall, and it gives Wolfstrop seven game balls in this third. Well, there it is, and immediately Parker requests the new ball. There's no match between these two. I'm aware it's probably quite difficult for you, Vanessa, but... It's definitely, definitely a chance here. Will's dropped to pull it back. Oh, oh, what a shot. What a shot. Just snuck it up. And out. Four more. And that's the, as I said earlier in the match, that's the kind of quality it has to produce. That's really good. Really good there, Vanessa. So well Nine, straightened onto it so early. Anyone? Match ball, Parker. there between the two. Oh, he's oh. missed it. That was <laughs> he the got one. There early, he knew it was coming cross court. Certainly did. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's straightened it. Brilliant. Wolfstrop. Quite brilliant. It really was. And no matter what happens after this, that was an extremely gutsy effort from Wilstrop. Incredible to see. I know this is uh, nine love Parker, but the level that James Wallstrop is still playing at nearly 38 just shows why he's won. He's had such a successful career. Just not managed to Another get in front one. at all since he got 10 match balls at 10 love. He's been in complete control here, Wallstrop. Oh, <laughs> he just couldn't this is get back on his feet. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Another point clawed back by Wallstrop. <laughs> Look at the sweat patch. I mean, that definitely needs sorting out. That was very loud. <laughs> <laughs> so was that. <laughs> I'm just going to let the referees do their job here and keep quiet. It's all over, Parky. Well, a big relief for George Parker. What a what a comeback for James Wilstrop. He almost got there. 
three games to two. Well, not for lack of effort, that's for sure, from both parties. 13, 11, what a match. 11, George Parker booking his first win against Will Strop. 81 minutes it took him, winning 3-2, 13-11, 11-9, 3-11, 10-12, 11-7.